apostolic salutations to you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Apostle James coming to you today with um, uh, the decease of our apostolic prophetic decrees. And uh, I thank God for your life and I thank God for the grace of God that is available to you and to me. And I thank God for the miracles that are taking place already. It is a year that is loaded with the benefits of God. It is a year that is filled with testimonies in the name of Jesus. And uh, I want to read a scripture to you from the book of Deuteronomy chapter number uh, 2. And I'll just take a few verses. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter number 2 and I'm reading verse number 5, verse 9 and verse 24. And it says, Meddle not with them. For I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot breath. Because I have given Marcia unto Esau for a possession. Verse 9 says, And the Lord said to me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle. For I will not give thee of their land for a possession. Because I have given Ah unto the children of Lot for a possession. Now we're in verse 24 and it says, Rise you up, take your journey, and pass over the land Anon. Behold, I have given into thy hand Sihon, the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it. And here it comes. And it says, And contend with him in battle. This is one of the strange scriptures I have seen in the Bible. Now God says to them, do not distress uh, the children of Lot, do not distress the children of Esau. I have given their land to them. Don't trouble them. Listen to me brothers and sisters, this year is loaded with benefits for you and for me. There is so much that God has for you and for me. God says when you see your neighbor possessing his possessions. He says, do not distress them. Do not fight with them. It is not a time to envy anybody. God has a measure of greatness for you and for everybody else. When you see somebody else being blessed, God says, don't distress them. Don't trouble them. I have given them their possession. He said, now, this is what the this is the portion I have given to you. I have given you this land, and I'm asking you go contend with with the king of the Amorites, Sihon. Contend with him and possess the land that I promised you. I've heard many people say, uh, "What is mine will come to me." Well, I beg to differ. What is yours is yours, yes. But God says, "I have given it to you. Now go contend for it." There is a battle over your possession. There is a battle over your inheritance. There is a battle over what God has promised you. Your prophetic destiny is great. There is so much that God wants to do for you this year. So much that God wants to do for me this year. But God is saying to you, to, to you and to me, He says, contained for it. Contained for it. Contained for it. Make good warfare with the prophecies that has gone ahead of you. Make good prophecies with that, make good warfare with that prophecy that you have received. So, so much word has been pronounced over the year and so much blessings have been pronounced over your life. Now God is saying, contained in battle for it. Ah, today I pray for you in the name that is above every other name that the strength to contend, the strength to possess will come upon you in the name of Jesus. Everything that God has given to you, I decree to you today, it will not slip out of your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. The position that God has reserved for you to possess this week, this month, and even this year, I decree and I declare it will not slip out of your hands. That which God has has proposed for you to walk into the greatness he has prepared for you, the miracle he has prepared for you, the testimony he has prepared
prepared for you, the healing he has prepared for you. This year, you will enter into it. Even now, I decree and I declare by the mandate of heaven and by the authority that is in the name of Jesus that you are entering into your possession. Possess your possession. Receive strength. Receive grace with angelic assistance. Contend and possess your possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. Let nothing slip out of your hands. Let nothing slip out of your possession. Let nothing slip out. Let not the wicked one steal, kill, or destroy whatever that God has given to you this year. You will walk in the fullness of your testimony. You will walk in the fullness of your miracle. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the heavens will give you assistance. Angels will war with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the forces of the earth will war with you. In the name of Jesus, I speak strength into your inner man. I speak grace upon your life. That you with grace, with power, and with the spirit of might, you will contain and you will possess your possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus, 2022 will not end with any of your promises being suspended. 2022 will not end without you having your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, we establish this decree today by the power that is in the name of Jesus and by the efficacy of the blood. In Jesus, much less than we pray. Amen. I want to leave you with a word. I want to leave you with a word from Joshua. In the book of Joshua, chapter number 18 and verse 3. This is the word of Joshua. Uh, the word of God is powerful. God said to Joshua, tell the people to rise up and to contain and to possess their possessions. And they had, they had journeyed for years, they had gotten to this place and they were not able to enter 40 years. They were trapped and not able to enter into the fullness of what God promised. 40 years. 40 years they were trapped in the wilderness under the leadership of Moses. And now God says, rise up. He says to Joshua, rise up and take your people and go over and possess what I promised them. What I said I would give to them 40 years ago. Let them begin to walk in it now. Anything that has been delayed in your life up until now, even the carryover from last year, whatever it is you have been desiring and whatever God has proposed for you to walk in, I decree that now you are entering into it in the mighty name of Jesus. And God said to Joshua, he said to Joshua, he said, you are now stricken in years. Joshua had conquered so many lands. He has taken so much. And yet God came and God said to him, Joshua, now you are old and you're stricken in years. And now there remained much land to conquer. Even though I told you at the beginning of, of, of your journey with the people that you should rise up and take possession of your own possessions. He said, but now you have not been able to do it. Now, now you are old and time has passed and so much still needs to be done. Uh, Joshua opened his mouth and spoke to the people in the book of Joshua chapter 18 and verse 3. And Joshua said, he said, and Joshua said unto the children of Israel, how long are you slack? to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers had given you. This time you must not be slack. This year you will not be slack in your faith. This year you will not be slack in your prayers. This year you will not be slack. Spiritually, you will rise up and you will possess all that God has proposed for you to possess. You will enter that marriage. You will have your children. You will have your financial blessings. You will have your spiritual goals. Your spiritual cutting edge will be established in the mighty name of Jesus. You will begin to walk in miracles. You will be a sign and a wonder to your generation in the mighty name of Jesus. You will take nations for Christ. You will take nations for Christ. You will be on the cutting edge spiritually. You will bet that ministry that God has planned for you to bet and nothing will stop you. Possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive strength in Jesus. Much less name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. I'll see you again same time tomorrow in Jesus name. Amen.